Hey everyone! Thanks for joining me in this video series on how to build any website with PageCloud. In today's video, we will be covering everything you need to know about PageCloud's Mobile Layout Builder. To really understand how the Mobile Layout Builder works, we first need to look at how style, position, and size attributes are treated on desktop and mobile. Let's start by adding some unstyled content to this page. First, I'll paste in a font from Google Fonts. Next, I'll add an image off my desktop. Okay, now let's go ahead and customize these elements. Perfect. Now these elements have a style, position, and size attribute for desktop. However, because we haven't gone into the mobile layout builder, they don't have any style, position, or size attributes for mobile. Let's go ahead and enable the mobile layout builder to see what happens to these objects in mobile. For now, we'll keep use mobile layout off so visitors see our desktop page until the mobile version is done. When we go into mobile, we can see how the left side of the guide on desktop has now become the left side of the guide on mobile. We should also note that the style, position, and size attributes have now been set for mobile. For now, they are the same as what they were on desktop. This is great, but what if I wanted the text box to look a little bit bigger on mobile, and I wanted the image to be in a different position? Will this affect how everything looks on desktop? No. Once you go into mobile, all objects that had not previously been adjusted will receive desktop style, position, and size attributes by default. This functionality allows you to completely customize your mobile site in any way. It's important to note that once mobile styles have been applied, they are independent from your desktop styles. So if I go to desktop and change the font and color of my text, it will not affect the styles on mobile. This is the main reason why we recommend you finish your site on desktop before enabling the mobile layout builder. If you run into a situation where you want an object on mobile to match its original look on desktop, simply select it in mobile and then click Reset Mobile Styles under the Advanced tab. You might have to reposition it as the position attribute now matches desktop. If you start building your website from a theme or add elements from the side panel, it's important to keep in mind that the majority of the content has already been styled for mobile. This means that if you were to immediately jump into mobile, you would see how each object has been individually styled for mobile. As a result, changing the style, position, or size of an element on desktop will not affect how it looks on mobile. Here's a quick example. I'll change the color of this shape and go see how it hasn't changed in mobile. If I want this element to look like the original desktop version, I'll simply reset it and then reposition it however I want. Feel free to reset as many objects as you'd like when in the mobile builder. This really comes in handy when you've made multiple changes on desktop. To help you reflow your content for mobile, use the Align Width and Align Center shortcuts. To use these shortcuts, select an object and then press AW or AC on your keyboard. Also, use the Squeegee tool to make space or push down your content until it looks just right. If you want your text to look a little bigger on mobile devices, Select one or multiple text boxes, and then tap the plus symbol on your keyboard. You can also decrease the size by tapping the minus key. It's also best practice to never delete anything from your mobile layout. If you delete something, it will be removed from your desktop site as well. Instead, we'd recommend selecting it and then hiding it using the Arrange tab. Don't forget, if you ever make a mistake, you can use the undo shortcut by typing Command Z on Mac or Control Z on PC. Once you get a hang of the mobile layout builder and some of the shortcuts, you'll be well on your way to creating a custom mobile experience for your visitors. Now that we're happy with the look and feel, let's go ahead and enable our mobile layout from the page settings tab. Oh, and as a final tip, when you copy and paste elements between pages or within the same page, 
Keep in mind that these objects will maintain the style, position, and size attributes associated with desktop and mobile. This means you can copy a section, like this poster area, and then paste it onto a new page while maintaining mobile styling. This little trick is great when recreating similar sections or pages across your site. If you want the section to be in a different position, just select it and move it into place. That's it for today. Before I go, I think it's important to note that PageCloud is a rapidly evolving product, so we'd recommend exploring the app on a regular basis to discover what's possible. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos, our searchable knowledge base, and support team. Can't wait to see what you'll create with PageCloud.